You know, while many folks across Northeast Ohio are getting ready for Christmas celebrations this weekend, there is also many in our community preparing to celebrate Kwanzaa. And joining us once again this year, this morning, is author Keisha McMillan, along with Paul and Kyra, who are mm -hmm. here to talk more about what Kwanzaa means to them and also the local celebrations happening next week that you could possibly take part in. Thank you all for coming in Absolutely. today. Paul, how you doing, man? How you doing? Haven't You're seen doing you in a while. Real good, Wayne. Yeah, my fellow <laughs> East Cleveland. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> good to see you guys. All right, uh, for those who don't know, if they're living under a rock or something like that, what is Kwanzaa? What does it mean? Kwanzaa is an African-American holiday mm -hmm. that is celebrated December 26th, the day after Christmas, to January the 1st. The holiday allows for us to celebrate African-American culture and the principles that we practice during the year. And I know that it was so meaningful to you. This is something your mother instilled in you growing up to make sure you have. And you've, you've, your family has always had this beautiful celebration. Yes. I know she's no longer with us, but you continue yes. on in her honor as well. Absolutely. My mom has transitioned, but her spirit lives and lives in this program as mm -hmm. well and uh, in this celebration. So thank you for remembering my mom. Um, Paul Hill has been doing Kwanzaa, how many years, Paul? Oh, since 1969. Since Paul, 19 how did you get into it, man? Uh, you know, having met uh, Milana Karenga, Dr. Milana Karenga, and uh, he started Kwanzaa in 1966, mm -hmm. and was based on the seven principles in Guzusaba mm -hmm. in 1965. Mm -hmm. So what we have done is incorporated within our family. I got married in 1969. You're still married. Huh? You're still married. Uh, 55 years of uh, February 1st, 2024, right. and uh, seven children, ten grandchildren, yeah. and it's. We've internalized all the principles and it's been part of our lives. Uh, is this one of your grand, is this, uh, is this one of your grands over there? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful young one lady. She is. Yeah. Extended yeah. family. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, excellent, yes, excellent. Yes. So talk about the principles. you got seven principles. Seven principles. Mm -hmm. Well, the first principle is the principle of unity. And that's the day that we will be celebrating. Unity, mm -hmm. December 26th mm -hmm. at this celebration of Forest Hill Church. Mm -hmm. The Monticello Boulevard? Monticello, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Lee Road. Mm -hmm. So the first principle is unity. We light the black candle, mm -hmm. and we talk about how we're unified as a community. This year, in particular, we are talking about all the programs that we'll be doing in 2024. Okay. And one of them is a Boys to Men Summit. Mm -hmm. It's May 4th through 5th. Mm -hmm. So needed. they is one of the programs. Okay. We plan on using all of the principles. Let's hold that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. All of the that's principles. Nice. And we're going to wrap our community yes. with these principles and remind us of all that we stand for. Now, go, go through the other ones before we run out of okay. time. Okay. The second one is self-determination, mm -hmm. which is Kuji Jakalia. The third one is collective work and responsibility. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is cooperative economics. Mm -hmm. The fifth one is creativity, I'm sorry, NIA, which is purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sixth one is creativity. Mm -hmm. And the seventh one is faith. And each day you light a candle. Yes, mm -hmm. you light a candle. Kyra, I have to ask you, what is it being young and youthful in <laughs> yeah. this? What is it like, how, what kind of message do you want to give to other people your age and these younger generations growing up on, on the importance of this and why it's so important and meaningful to you to celebrate and participate? Well, I've been participating in Kwanzaa um, with Miss Keisha in the McMillan and Ascended Family since my youth. <laughs> and I'm older now, and it really just brings family and the community together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, that's needed today. It, it really, really, really mm -hmm. is. You guys have an event coming up soon? Talk about that. Yes, December 26th. 26th. We have a Kwanzaa celebration. And that kicks off Kwanzaa, right? That kicks right. off yeah. Kwanzaa. Yeah. Kwanzaa. Yeah. Brian Bird family is the one who's preparing the dinner. Okay. And Ooh, we, we have to talk about the dinner. Keep going. Yes, <laughs> the caramel feast. Okay. And then we have hors d'oeuvres by Black Box and yeah. Atrium oh, Cafe. So they're all providing some support. I, I love Black Box. They yes. Delicious. The chicken sandwich is incredible. <laughs> yes. So we have that going. Yeah. We have yeah. the Townsman Orchestra. We yeah. have 
Fire Squad Entertainment. We have a lot of people who have come together okay. to make sure this celebration is enormous. And once again, this is going to be where? It's going to be at Forest Hill Church. Right. And it starts at 3.30. Okay. It's very children friendly. Okay. The okay. focus this year is how are the children? Yes. And what will we say? The children are well. Amen. The like children it. are well. The children are well. And so wow. that will be our focus at the Kwanzaa celebration. I'm and digging we, the green, y'all. That, that I love green it. is and awesome, I have, man. Come, honey, come in here come real quick again. Come I have to get this beautiful little yes. angel in here. Is, is, what is that's, her relation? Uh, that's her daughter. Oh, my gosh. Come in Who's here one second. You don't look old enough to have a daughter. Oh, my gosh. She's just too beautiful. You look like you're about 15 yourself. Are you excited for the big celebration? Yes. You are? Okay, oh great. How nice is this? She's too She had to be... She's a singer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you want to sing a little tune real quick or no? Are you too nervous? Can you do it? How about Can you sing a little something? Uh-oh. Just one little line? She's like, you don't have to. You don't have to. We have to go to break anyway. All right. All, all the information about Kwanzaa on our website, fox8.com.